Hi, I'm Joe Rowlands and I've been in direct sales now for more than more than 30 years. And so I've decided to, to put together a, a series of, uh, of short videos uh, so that I can perhaps convey some of the things that, that I've, I've learned over all those years. There'll be lots of things that you've probably already heard of, but maybe I can give them a slightly different sort of twist, um, make them a little bit more interesting. Do my best anyway. So here we go. For years, I conducted uh, sales uh, training courses for new starters, people fresh into selling, never sold before in their lives. And it was always good, it was always sort of stimulating to see these you know, new fresh faces uh, coming into the business. But what I found over the, over the years was that there was always one question that kept popping up over and over again that I was asked. And that was, what's the secret of success? What's the secret of being a really successful salesman? And to try to get the message across to them as clearly and as succinctly as I possibly could, I came up with a, an acronym some years ago. Um, because I wanted something that, they, that would stick in their mind, that they would remember and be able to use every day of the week as they were working and, and throughout life. And that acronym was ESP. I told them that what they needed to be successful was ESP. And I've got no, nothing to do whatsoever uh, with extrasensory perception. No, no. ESP in this business means E for enthusiasm, absolutely unbridled, boyish, girlish, big soft kid, enthusiasm, enthusiasm sells, enthusiasm sells, uh, you know, just to repeat that, it really does work, ESP, S, S is for sincerity, sincerity, I'm not interested in the liars and the cheats and the con men and the sharks that infest uh, the, the sales world, sincerity is important in my book, especially if you're going to stand the test of time. You're going to be there and get customers coming back to you over and over again. And equally importantly, customers who are prepared to refer you to others. Sincerity wins every time. And after that, ESP, P is for persistence. Sheer, dogged, bloody minded, not giving up. I will not take no for an answer because I know this is in your best interest. I want to stick the, stay the, uh, the, the course with you. So persistence. Let's go back to the beginning again. ESP, enthusiasm. Just picture enthusiasm. You go into somebody, you're talking to somebody, and they are wildly excited about something that uh, they're, they're talking about. It could be a football game, it could be a sport of some sort, it could be their grandchildren, uh, it could be some new car that they've just bought, maybe. It doesn't matter what it is, but you see the big smile on their face and you hear the inflection in their voice, and you can't help but taking an interest in that sort of thing, enthusiasm, is one of the most infectious things you will ever come across. The, it's, like, it's like a baby's laugh. You hear a baby giggling and laughing, you can't help but smile. It takes somebody made of stone not to, uh, to respond to that sort of thing. And enthusiasm is just the same sort of thing. It sells every time. You've got to know your product inside out. Every salesman must know his product and he must also have a working knowledge of his competitors' products. So if you've got those tools already in your arsenal and you put on top of that enthusiasm for what you're selling, then you are going to arouse interest in the people that you're dealing with. If you're then sincere about what you're talking about, you believe in what you're doing and you know that what you've got is a better product than the competitors, then again your honesty and integrity and sincerity will show through. People will see that even if they don't buy from you right now. Not everybody's going to be a buyer. Um, not everybody can afford to do it or it's not right for them at that particular time. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If you leave that uh, memory uh, in their mind of your enthusiasm and your sincerity that you believe that it was the right thing for them, they will remember that. And maybe they'll come back in the future, maybe they won't, but certainly that memory will linger and they will pass that on to other people. You say, hey, I was talking to a fellow the other day, you were wanting to buy whatever it is you're interested in. By Jove, I was impressed by that fellow there. That was really good. I uh, couldn't manage it myself at the time, but it's the sort of thing that you might be interested in. But that's the kind of thing that uh, will stay with people. That's what will get you business in the long term. And then persistence, as I said before. 
Sheer jogged bloody minds and I will not take no for an answer persistent. You can do you can do this, you can do this with a clear conscience. Um, it's not necessarily high pressure selling. It isn't if you've got the sincerity uh, that, and you believe that the product that you've got is the right one for them, then there's nothing wrong with giving a shove uh, to people and jollying them along uh, into uh, making a decision that you know is in their best interest. You're going to help them to avoid making mistakes. They could just as easily uh, go off and buy an inferior product, inferior service there, and they'll regret it forever, forever more. Whereas you can protect them from doing just that with your persistence. So there you go. If you start out in sales as uh, somebody who first of all does their homework, knows what they're selling, knows the product very, very well indeed, very thoroughly, because there's no excuse for a salesman going into any sales presentation, whatever it is, not knowing what he's talking about. So if you've got that as your backstop and then add on to that enthusiasm by the bucketful and also sincerity, do it honestly, do it with integrity then you can afford to be persistent and stay and stay the, uh, the, the, the test of time and you will win and it makes no difference whether you are selling face-to-face uh, -to, -face to somebody you're selling on the telephone um, or you're selling over the internet on just a, a, a website it will show through uh, on the it will show through ultimately you're going to have to deal with your customers you're going to have to speak to people face to face uh, and these things will win you sales time after time after time Okay, this is one of the one of the little sort of videos. There's going to be a whole series more. I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thanks for listening. Bye now.